Sheriff and Friends. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome listening to Sheriff and Friends. It's the Sheriff in the studio. I'm the Sheriff. I've got a friend. How does it work? Who's his friend this week? That's the question on everyone's lips, on their brain boxes, on everything here. I have a piece of paper in front of me. Very useful piece of paper. Quality radio here. Lesson to all the people out there <laughs> thinking, how am I going to do radio when I grow up? Here's a little lesson. Just get some paper. Ruffle it. Like Sounds like you're doing something important when you're not. Very simple, Chris. Chris Williams is in the studio. Hello, Chris. Hello, Tom. Here's how it's going to work. Chris, mm-hmm. I've got a piece of paper. You've not seen this piece of paper, am I correct? Yes. So I, I saw it once, but I didn't see the questions yeah, on but it. You, saw, but you can see the paper now, but I mean, well, you yes, can't see the questions yeah. on the paper, can you? Not yet. That's the key information that's relevant to this round. Here's how it works. Round. It's like a big game show. <laughs> I'm going to give you ten questions. You're going to give your answers. It's quick fire. That's how it works. Chris, are you ready to play? Hopefully. Chris, I'm- question one. What do you do? Um, I do politics. If you were a fruit, what kind of fruit would you be? Apple. What are you thinking right now? Nothing. You're a funny guy. What's a punchline to your favourite broadcastable joke? Uh, uh, oh, broadcastable. Besides me, what is your favourite Tom? Uh, Tom... Tom Durkin. Porks or spoons? Spoons. What's your favourite movie quote? Um, um... Was it you? Yes. What number am I thinking? Seven. How does it make you feel knowing I hold your destiny in my hands? I, I'm, I'm afraid. Fashion is danger. Flight of the Concords. ExpressRadio.co.uk. Chris Williams joining me in the studio. Coming up next, we're going to be talking about uh, oh, a feature. Obviously, it's radio, isn't it? The sheriff on Express Radio. It's always hard to know what's about to happen on the Sheriff and Friends. Always hard. People always say, you know, what on earth is going to come next? I admit, before that song, I did fail to say what is coming next. But I'm saying what's coming next now. What's coming now, rather. I'm saying it. Now, you know that Paul Simon song, Chris? You heard that song? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love it. 50 Ways. (laughs) You haven't heard the song yet. You're just going, that Paul Simon song. Oh, yeah. The one he did. The Paul Simon one. one. Yeah. He only did one song. He didn't do any others, did he? In my eyes, The bloke called Garfunkel. Right, yeah. It's called 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover. And um, I haven't got got it here, but I mean, I'll just do a quick quick rendition of the chorus. It goes, do, 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 just nip out the back, Jack. Make a new plan, Stan. No need to be coy, Roy. Just listen to me. Right? Hop on the bus, Gus. You don't need to discuss much. Just drop off the key, Lee. And set yourself free. That, now, <laughs> in that song, he's naming ways that you can leave your lover, obviously. Mm-hmm. You know, nip out the back, Jack. Get out, you know, make a new plan, Stan. It's not quite a way to leave your lover, but I guess it does make sense. There's no need to be coy, Roy. Again... It's not very. It's not really quite a specific. It's not like nipping out the back, is it? No, no. Make a new keely. Now that's gonna do it. They're not gonna be able to get in the house. That's a great that's one. That's quite a good one. That's yeah. fine. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, he only says five there anyway, right in that chorus. Mm-hmm. And the song's called Fifty Ways to Leave Your Lover. So false advertising for a start, Mister Simon. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot his name. <laughs> yeah, Paulie, Paulie Simony. What I reckon is, in this show, can we just get together, guys? Can we just think? What are the other ways to leave your lover? Because there's got to be more. There's got to be more ways to leave your lover. So if anyone's sitting at home thinking, oh, I know, it's, you know, put her in a can, Dan. Or we'll put her in the can, Dan. Or get chucked in the can, Dan, like prison. There you are, there's another one. So that's the way. So my friend Daniel Potts there, he could leave his lover through any of those means. It has to rhyme for it to be a legitimate way. Last week, we suggested from Tom Beckley going... What was it? What was his suggestion last week? Something to do with Jeff, wasn't it? Fake your own death, Jeff. That's, That's a, a brilliant one. one. That's, That's a not bad, one. Like is it? I think, mm. I think strap yourself to a bomb, Tom, is also quite a good one. <laughs> so every week, I sort of I see if we can get one for you, for my partner as well. Um, last week, we had Do Too Much Farting, Martin. And so maybe if throughout this show we could come up with one for you, Chris. For me, God, Chris is a difficult one. Chris what doesn't rhyme with much. It's not. It's not very. Uh, it rhymes with a few things that aren't radio worthy. Okay. Well, that's, uh, well, that's but not. That's not a good place to start, is it? No, and um, it doesn't even rhyme very well with those things. No, I know what you're not talking really. About. No. So that's pretty rubbish. Yeah. Right? But there you are. Um, okay. Well, what we're going to do during the song is just kind of think, see if we can get anything rhyme with Chris, see if we can get anything rhyme with anything else. If you can think of one which rhymes with Chris, just uh, text studio and that to eight twenty ten. That'd be pretty wicked. Studio and your message eight twenty. 10. Right now we've got the Mighty Mighty Boom mashup. Sonic Boom 6 and the Mighty Mighty Boss Dunes. Do not change the channel. Why would you change the channel? It's not a channel. It's in the internet, isn't it? It's some boy. People are like they don't know. Watch the 
I act like I know how to do radio. It's madness. <laughs> That's brilliant. We've just had a suggestion in. Chris, what was it? Oh, God. That's put me on the spot there. Um, what was it? Uh, I told you, um, just before I pulled the mic, oh. I said, we're about to do this, and you weren't the... Oh, it's ridiculous. I, I wasn't even listening, actually. Did, I did think of one, though. <laughs> Not um, even listening. did think of think one. Of uh, Chucker in the Alley Sally. Yeah? That was the mighty, mighty Boss Stones and Sonic Boom Sex with a Mighty, Mighty Boom. You're listening to the Sheriff Express Radio.co.uk. I'm joined in the studio by a lovely gentleman by the name of Christopher Williams. Hello. Chris, how you doing? Yeah, not too bad. Not what too bad. What was it? Chucker down an alley, Sally? Well, I was just, you know, thinking on my feet there. Got it wasn't roll bad. with the punches. That's what you said. You rolled, you rolled with those punches. I it was, did. Give someone else a kiss. Chris, that was the one. Yeah, and it might be, we might have to have that one for you. And we're going to, what we'll do, we'll get them all together, we'll put them all on the wall, and everyone will see them for all eternity. So long as Facebook doesn't close down ever, and there's a good chance it will. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly in terms of eternity. Yeah, I think Facebook might it's a little not bit optimistic it. there. It's quite optimistic, but Zuckerberg wouldn't mind if I said it could happen. Chris, I want to talk to you about what the first single you ever bought is. Do you mind if first I First single, oh god, this is a horrible one actually. Now shut your eyes, Chris. Yeah, alright. Shut your eyes, Chris. Okay. Your eyes are shut, yeah? Yep. Shut your eyes. It's, it's radio, just they shut, don't know. Shut the eyes, just shut your eyes. Okay. Shut your eyes. Now imagine, you imagine you're at home. You, you, you're walking into your house. Shut your eyes, Chris. <laughs> you're walking into your house at home. You, 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 you're six years old. <laughs> How old were you when you bought the first single? Uh, probably like 10, 11. Say more hushed voice. About 10, 11. Okay, now shut your eyes. Right. So you, you're about 10 or 11. You, you walk into your house. You walk up to a dinner table, you pop yourself down, you say, All right, Mum, how's it going? And she says, It's lovely. I've made your favourite dinner, Chris. What, what's, what's on the table in front of you? Shut your eyes. Uh, it would actually be pasta, chicken burgers, and peas. Oh, lovely. Mm. Lovely bit of chicken burger. And then she says, As a little treat, I'm going to let you play your, your brand new CD you just bought today. What, what does she pop on the CD player, Chris? <laughs> Um, well, thinking about it, I'm thinking about <laughs> it now. Yeah, it, it is is one of two two C singles I bought. Um, okay, it was either Puddle of Mud Control. Oh, di- oh, oh, or, or it was uh, it was Beautiful Day by U2. But I'm not sure oh. which one. Oh no, sorry, Elevation. That was it, Elevation by U2. So oh, right, yeah, diverse oh. music taste. I think they. Uh, Would they you believe that. that we have that song right here, right now? Uh, no. That's wise. <laughs> it's all I can describe it as very wise. <laughs> this is a song called LSF by Kasabian coming up to a break. Dead or alive. Okay, just to remind the people at home how to play Dead or Alive, um, it's very straightforward. Work out whether he's dead or alive. Um, so, yeah, J.D. Salinger. Chris, what do you reckon? Um, I don't know, I don't know. I, he was the author of Catcher, Catcher in the, the Rye. Yes, he's he dead. Was. Oh, he's got to be dead, he's dead. Well, yeah, because that was so long ago. That so long ago, out. he's dead. Well, I can tell you the book came out in 1951, uh, but, yeah, you're right, he, he's, he's dead. dead. Yeah, he he's died dead. in t- uh, 2010, so not that oh, long ago. Oh, no, so. Oh. Oh, I thought he was long gone, but... No, he lasted longer, didn't he, Salinger? He lasted longer. All right, yeah. next one, next one. Dennis Hopper. Who's he? Um, you've never heard of Dennis Hopper, I really? probably have, but who I've is I've heard he? the name. Uh, actor, artist, filmmaker guy. Uh, was in Rebel Without a Cause with James Dean. Uh, he directed and starred in Easy Rider, which, you know, won something back in the day. Nice. Yeah, everyone's I, heard of Dennis I Hopper. Think, I think the only reason I've heard of him is because he died. That's what I'm going to say. Right, Dad. Right, you, yeah, you both right. He also right. died last year. Yeah. Lovely. <laughs> Keep going. Ray Harryhausen. Can't be alive. His name's too good to be alive, Dad. <gasps> Who's that? Ray Harryhausen. Best you know, name. the animator guy who did, like, Jason and the Argonauts and out of stop motion kind of thing. You have said a lot of words that I don't understand just then, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say dead based <laughs> on that. He's just afraid of your words. <laughs> going with dead? You both going with dead? I'm going with alive. Tom's correct. Oh. He's, he's 91. I'm a seasoned that veteran. I am a old. seasoned veteran of Dead or Alive. <laughs> Amanda, tell him, tell him, tell him, did you have fun? 
I did have one. The Sheriff and Friends on Express Radio. Express Radio. Chris? Yes? I have a question to ask you. Okay. That was Here It Goes Again. Okay, go. Mm hmm. It's quite a simple question, but it's an odd question. Okay. Do you know how many teeth you have? I don't. No, I no. don't. Come on, now, look. Oh, you're 21, is it? Uh huh. And you're 21 years of age, and you don't know how many teeth you've got in your mouth. Hang on. How long have you had those teeth for? A fair few years, Mr. Christopher, and you don't know how many teeth you've got. How many teeth have you got, Tom? I don't know. No one does. Well, what Tom, is that about? You're older we... than me, so you should know. How can we possibly have lived so long without counting our teeth? And I guarantee you, everyone listening to this at home, all five of them, they'll be counting their teeth right now, running their tongues on their mouth. How many teeth have I got? I wonder how many teeth I've got. I six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. Like that. <laughs> everyone at home, they won't believe it. How many teeth have they got? How many eyes have you got? Two. Two eyes, Chris. How many noses have you got? One. How many teeth have you got? Um, well, I, I just don't think it matters. Maybe because they're not visible. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because I you, just you, feel you like you look in the mirror, you see your eye. You I know, just feel teeth like are hidden in away. this world, you should know how many teeth you have. Adults have 32 teeth, apparently. Adults, most adults have 32. Quite an educated guess from Daniel Potts. So What's not bad, Daniel Potts? We're going to be coming back, and Chris is going to be talking about some new segment. Dan, you're going to stay around. For I'm going to stay around. I think, yeah. Thank you for having me. This is Come On Gold Digger. I enjoyed Pink then, I gotta yeah. be honest. She's in Happy Feet too. Release soon. Yeah, she's in Happy Feet too. If she? anything, she she wouldn't be a penguin if she was an animated character for me. She'd be a turtle. I think she looks at she like got be a turtle. A turtle. I think she got a t- not a tortoise. Yeah, She'd be I, a can see, I can no. see that. She'd be a skunk with the pink hair. Too shy, no, yeah. She would be a skunk. Place. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. She'd I clearly be a skunk, it. wouldn't she? God, put me at my place. A yeah. nose ring. Yeah. Right, It'd be like a nose Definitely ring. Definitely just got yeah. told. <laughs> <laughs> I know what she'd be if she was an animal. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Right. Have you ever heard Shaggy singing? No one knows what he's singing. Do you know what he's singing? I have the foggiest. You don't know what he's singing. So here's <laughs> what we're going to do. We're going to get a song, It Wasn't Me, by yeah. Shaggy and some other bloke who's not, did it, didn't do anything else. <laughs> <laughs> that was the highlight of his career. Um, it was. It was. <laughs> it's just, it's, that is who it's by, I think. That's who it's credited as on the CD. It's a, it's a shaggy and another bloke. Oh, dear. <laughs> Rick Rock, apparently, is his name. Rick yeah. Rock. Uh, with no C's. He doesn't like C's, Rick Rock. Just uh, <laughs> R-A-K-R-O-K, says there. So, uh, yeah. good on him. Okay, what <laughs> we're going to do is we're going to get the song It Wasn't Me. Um, and myself and Chris Williams are going to go out there. He's got one verse. Um, the second verse and I've got the first verse and we've got pen and paper lined up producer Amanda's all set up completely and what we're going to do is we're going to go out there and just desperately write down the lyrics as we hear them what we think Shaggy is saying in It Wasn't Me uh. Smashing Pumpkins come on Chris we have got four months and 20 seconds to work out what the hell Shaggy is trying to say With your access to my villa, <laughs> sell your sons of wheat and then you tie him to a pillar. You better what you're watching because you come into a killer. Let's review the situation, not to call a peanut. Why do you play <laughs> if you know you're to pay? Let's get a night, son, let's get a day. Never forget to have heard what you say. And if you think you two is better than me, no way. <laughs> but you got me on the counter. How, how, do you, how was that? Your last words are pretty good. <laughs> last words are pretty good. Okay, that's good, that's grand. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that was my turn. That's what I got. Big Chris, your time. Your time is now. Oh, God, I'm in singing, eh? Something, something, if you blow flex. What did you see? You're nothing complex. See, is it believing? So you better change your specs. That's good. Dip, 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 dip from the past. Oh, yeah. da, 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 lick the mask. And when you're running, you better run for oh. us. <laughs> oh. Right, fact or fiction. Um, okay, here's how it works. Amanda gives us three facts with air quotes, and we've got to work out which one's real, Chris. Simple as that. The game's as simple as that. Okay. Isaac Newton invented the game Hopscotch. 
Moths are... <laughs> No. Should I try this one again? Yeah. Moths are unable to fly during an earthquake, and Ringo Starr, Pierce Brosnan, Alec Baldwin, and George Carlin have all starred on Thomas the Tank Engine cartoon Thomas and Friends. Ooh. Th- they're silence. Give us names again. One. Give us names again. Ringo Starr. Yeah. Pierce Brosnan. Alec Baldwin. Pierce Brosnan's one I don't believe. And George Alec, Carlin. Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin and George Carlin. I could genuinely believe. I could see that. But really? It's, no. No. I'm gonna go with. Um, I'll go B. Moths, I, I moths think, and earthquakes. I think based on based on Tom's record, I'm going to go with B as well. You both fools! Oh. Ringo Starr, Pierce Brosnan, oh. Alec Baldwin, and Brosnan. Bond on Thomas and Friends. Bond. What? Oh, I'm just stunned. Stunned. That's mental. Okay. Uh, some chickens are half male, half female. In the early drafts of Moby Dick, Moby Dick was a turtle, and Brad Pitt once <laughs> had a summer job. Posting warning signs at a coal mines. It's because it's, it's funny because you don't think of Moby Dick's a giant turtle. It's just a small yeah, one. Yeah. It's a completely different novel. Is he's just like yeah. trying to find a needle in a haystack? <laughs> he's just like, where is this bloody turtle? I'm gonna go Brad Pitt. I think. I think. Actually, no. I'm not gonna go Pitt because I've just seen the link there between coal mines <laughs> and Brad Pitt. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Uh, so I'm gonna go for the other one. Whatever the other one was, chickens. Half I'm... male, half female chicken. I want to go Brad Pitt yeah. on this one. <laughs> well, Chris, you're right. Some oh, chickens. no, oh, the record oh, goes. Brilliant. Chris, I've, I've got you. I've got you. I've got you a present, Chris. Chris, I've got you a present. Okay, what, what is it? You, you have just, to open just it. Just open it and read it out, would you? The Lady Boys of Bangkok. Is there a... No. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Uh, uh, it's because you're gay. Sure. Where did you They're find not even this coming to Cardiff. <laughs> Dance with me, Dizzy Rascal, Calvin Harris, Sheriff and Friends. We're going to have my mum next. What's up, do I live? I've been keeping my eye on your movement. I can't see no room for improvement. But why you all over there and you're... Get away from the bar. Tell your boyfriend, hold your jar and dance with me. Thanks, Dizzy and Calvin, for Dance With Me. Very good one, that one. Um, we're going to do uh, the feature now. It's a different feature. It's a very odd feature right now. It's called My Mum Trolls Me. Uh, <laughs> basically, my mum is like a troll. Um, so these are examples of messages my mum has sent to me. Elizabeth I, remaining inviolable, known to all as the Virgin Queen. That's you, that is. That's your most manly nickname. Love, Mum. That's just a text. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you are the unfortunate result of my alien abduction. Love, Mum. <laughs> um, Horrendous. Horrendous. I put, as a joke, so I'm part Mexican, and she put, nearly Martian, actually. Love, Mum. X. <laughs> Mandy, you've got one there. She put my Facebook, haven't you? Uh, yeah, after the show last week, your mum put, I managed to listen to some of the live broadcast. You haven't improved a bit. That's an hour of my life I won't get back. Love mum, X. I texted mum saying, when I came home, I texted her saying, mum, 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 um, can you sort out some keys for me? Because I haven't got any keys for a new house because they changed the locks of a door. And mum just texted me back saying, was going to get you a key cut, but then I realised I didn't love you enough. <laughs> <laughs> love mum. <laughs> and then there's just one more. There's one more here that I've just got from mum. One more here. It just says, um, so this is me to him. But that's like rape. I can sue. I can get compensation. And this is him to me. Shut up, you slag, or I'll cut you. And that's how you were conceived. Love, (laughs) Mum. The Sheriff on Express Radio. Express Radio. 